Okay, this is day four of seven, the first of two days of seated versions of priming. Um, big thing here, we want to get to where our feet are flat on the ground. I'm short, so I had to scoot forward a little bit to do this because we're going to be starting with some basic foot exercises. So first thing we're going to do is do what I call a tune-in or a check-in. And to do that, we're going to close our eyes. We're in a seated position, preferably good posture. Good posture is whatever feels comfortable to you. So it doesn't necessarily matter um, if you're like arched or forward or slouchy or anything, just whatever feels comfortable because the whole purpose of a tune in is to see what you're feeling and where you're feeling it. So nice and gentle, whatever feels comfortable to you. And let's just tune in to your toes. And as we try to relax your lower body, pay attention to see if you feel something different from one foot to the other foot's toes, through the foot itself, the middle of the foot, the heel, the ankle, tracing up through the calves, onto the knees and around the knees, the front side, the back side, through the quads, the thighs, the hamstrings, through the hips, the sides of the hips, the lower abdominals, the lower back, the sacrum, your butt bone, through your middle back, rib cage, upper abdominals, through your chest, paying attention to see if there's any more tension on one side than another, seeing if there's any points of numbness or tingling, if your body's trying to tell you anything, if there's any kind of acute sensations like pain, tension, soreness, fatigue. As you do this check-in, as you go around and say hi to all these different muscles, through your upper back, your shoulders, through your elbows, hands, wrists, fingers, and palms. Seeing if you can feel in this relaxed position one finger more than another, or if one side feels more sensitive than another. And it's important to know that none of that's wrong. If you feel anything like that, it's always a perfect solution to whatever problems your body is facing. That's gonna be a really important bit of information going forward through this process as we understand that we're never trying to fight symptoms, we're trying to understand them. And then going up through the base of our neck, through the upper neck, the jaw, through the nose, the sinuses, your eyes, feeling if one eye is relaxing more than another in this closed position, if one eye or both eyes are shaking, through your skull and the back of your head and the crown of your head, Feeling if there's any more tension on one side than another. And just starting to take big deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. We're relaxing, but we're keeping tension through our body. And we'll start priming. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your toes and the tops of your feet, and you're gonna keep your heels down on the ground. You're gonna lift your toes, lift your forefoot, the front of your feet up into the air, and you're flexing the front of your shin muscles. And gently, we're gonna rotate. You're gonna pivot your heel. We're gonna rotate your toes and the front of your feet out. So you're externally rotating in a circular motion ankles and your feet, keeping your knees right where they were the whole time, so that your feet are pivoting around your shin bone. And we're fully externally rotated, just trying to feel the front of the shin muscles, trying to feel the top of the foot muscles. And as they reach minor fatigue, we're going to slowly bring them back to that neutral where they're lined up with your shin, and then back down to the ground and just relax. Completely let the feet relax. And gently we're going to lift the toes and the ankles again into the same position. And as they raise all the way up, we're going to rotate out and spin them around the shin bone. And gently we're going to focus on lifting the fourth and fifth metatarsal or the outside of your feet towards the outside of your calves. Trying to flex those muscles on the fronts of your shins and the tops of your feet. The toes are participating, but not overly so. They're not lifting the entire foot. And as they reach minor levels of fatigue, we're going to bring them back to neutral and slowly relax the feet. And completely relax the feet. 
And just notice the sensitivity change, the fatigue that you feel, and that great, great fatigue of muscle contraction, that awesome hormone BDNF getting going. The next one we're gonna do is you're gonna take your heels and your feet and you're gonna gently push both feet into the ground through the whole foot, the heels, the midfoot, and the toes. And you're gonna squeeze your glutes, your hamstrings, and your quads. Almost like you're gonna sit up out of the chair or you're gonna stand, but you're trying to keep your upper body relaxed except for the abdominals that are supporting this. And you're just pushing pressure through your feet into the ground as if you were going to stand. And we're just getting that nice, smooth, consistent flex or contraction through your quads, your butt, your hamstrings, and through your lower leg. It's not about tension. It's not about stress or anxiety in the muscles. It's just that light push. And just try to make it consistent from side to side. Really focus on the glutes working your butt muscles. As you reach minor to moderate levels of fatigue, slowly relax and keep breathing. Completely relax your legs. And very gently start to engage again and push down into the ground, flexing the glutes, flexing the quads, the hamstrings, the feet pushing gently down into the ground, just squeezing those muscles, pushing, trying to get equal sensitivity from right side to left side, getting the whole thigh muscles to engage, getting the full butt muscles to engage, the hamstrings on the outside and on the inside to engage, and just breathing. keeping that nice light squeeze, just holding it like an even line. And as you reach moderate levels of fatigue, slowly relax the muscles, gently let them go, completely relax. We're gonna take our knuckles, we're gonna put them together in almost a prayer position, but with fists. So that the knuckles on one side are meeting the knuckles on another, Arms are in front, folded towards our chest. Hands are together, elbows are bent. We're gonna sit up really tall and try to lift our head towards the ceiling. And very slowly, with our hips completely relaxed, we're gonna spin through our rib cage halfway as far as we can to the left and very gently rotating, not full range, just some of the way, and holding that position there and just monitoring what muscles are tightening, what muscles aren't tightening, and just breathing in this position, making sure that everybody is flexing, squeezing your abdominals, squeezing the sides of your abdominals, your oblique muscles, making sure your lower back, your upper back are participating, but gently letting the tension happen, but not at extremes. If you feel any kind of discomfort, don't rotate as far. As you reach minor levels of fatigue in these muscles while you're squeezing, slowly bring it back to neutral. And very gently, we're gonna go back to the left. Slowly bring it to the left, squeeze your abdominals throughout the whole rotation and go a little bit farther than you did last time if it feels comfortable. It's not about how far you go, it's about how much you feel. Try to squeeze the abdominals, particularly on the left side, but it's okay if both sides participate. Squeeze the obliques on the left side and the lower back. And very gently, as you reach minor levels of fatigue, bring your body back to neutral and breathe. and gently come to the right, squeezing the abdominals and the obliques and the lower back and upper back on that right side, and on both is okay. Going about halfway as far as you can, holding that position and just focus on breathing and squeezing your abdominals, obliques, and back muscles. Keeping the hips as relaxed as you can, the shoulders as relaxed as you can, the neck 
as relaxed as you can. Focus on squeezing the abdominals. And as you reach minor levels of fatigue, gently release and come back to neutral, controlling it through those muscles. And gently move back to the right. Go a little bit farther than you did last time if it feels comfortable. And squeezing your abdominals, squeezing your obliques, squeezing your back muscles, relaxing the hips, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the chest, relaxing the neck. If you need to, you can move your neck around slowly to disconnect it from the abdominals. Keep breathing. Keep going farther if it feels comfortable. And as you reach minor levels of fatigue, slowly bring it back to neutral. Big deep breath. And that's our priming for the day. Remember that once you stand up, you're gonna feel a little bit more relaxed, you're gonna feel a lot more calm, your muscles are gonna feel much, much smoother, and you just lubricated a lot of joints. So, feel really good that you just helped your body a lot more than most workouts do and that this is a progression and it's okay to not feel everything right now and that you'll get there. Have a great day.